I'm sorry. Wait, I'm hold on. You're fine. That's what you do. I'm so f***ing scared! What you just saw, life gainers and YouTubers, was a whole bunch of people failing at the game of life in various areas. And what you're going to find on this video is how YouTubers can avoid failing in being content creators and you can find success. If you enjoy the content on my channel or if this is your first time finding me, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so that you're down every time we drop a life gain video. If you really like my content, join me on my Patreon. The link is in the video description. And if you want to collab to help build your YouTube channel, hit me up and let's make that happen. Now let's discuss how you can succeed and not fail. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything, the sexy as hell host. And we're covering life gain YouTube building. And if you want to help grow your YouTube channel, you want to learn a little more, I'm doing a couple of videos a week on just that specific topic. I'm always up for collabs because my channel covers so many different things. We can always help find something to do to collaborate together to help your channel grow. Plus, I love networking. And we're going to talk about the things that cause most YouTube channels to fail. But first, let me put on these plus seven glasses of the sexiest hell because I'm working on skilling up my craft, ladies and gentlemen, giving you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. And if you like any of the gear you catch me wearing from my Life Gain t-shirt to the Black Panther hat to the glasses, always go check out shoplifegains.com. I'm always updating my store with the various things I wear and I always put up blog posts about a lot of things I talk about in the video. So there are some great YouTubers out there that help you build your YouTube channel. And they've gotten me inspired to start doing a little more of that myself. And some of those are Steve Nash, Nick Ninnum, um, Daryl Eves, a lot of good guys out there that do that. And some of the things that can cause your channel to not grow are some of the same things I went through. So for example, when I started my channel, you know, my whole mantra is life gains, helping you improve in every area of your life. And that entails fitness, technology, money saving, money making, all those areas give you life gains. And I was just throwing up all kinds of videos, fitness videos, money saving videos, political videos. And the one video that I wouldn't put up there because people was telling me not to put it up there was Cody cut the cord, Amazon fire stick. The sad thing about that, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't put it up there. And finally, I just said, you know what, I'm going to do it and see what happens. That was the thing that took off on my channel. Whereas my surrounding group of people was telling me not to put it up there. I put it on YouTube. It worked. And I didn't know anything about SEO, anything about thumbnails. The video quality was terrible. The audio was terrible. All those things was bad. But that video took off and it let me know that this would be an area of my channel that would grow. So what I would say to one of my first points would be um, you have to leverage making the content you like with the content that's working on YouTube. And that can be a quagmire for some people. Hell, it's a quagmire for me to this day because a lot of things that you have to say are a good message. Doesn't mean that it's gonna fit the entertainment metrics of what people are looking for on YouTube. It's just how it is, ladies and gentlemen. And you've kinda got to stay up to date on the trends and try to weave in your message of what you wanna do with what's hot and popular on YouTube until you build your audience. Um, that's just one of the things you have to do. 
And you can do that by collabing with other channels. That's why I'm saying if you want to collab with me, I'm here. I'm traveling all over America, teaching you what I know, helping you learn how to do this thing. So reach out to me. Another issue is you've got to get the basics right. And I just mentioned that from the sound to the quality of your video, the lighting to how you sit in the video to your background. There was a YouTuber that I like, he makes me laugh, named Review Dort, that continuously picked on how dark my video was. I wasn't listening to him in the beginning because by that point in time, I was already at 80,000 subscribers with horrible audio and horrible video lighting. And when I finally got some lighting and a better camera based on some things that he said to me in a jokingly manner, I just noticed how better my videos look. So ladies and gentlemen, you always want to make sure you're testing your sound, you're checking your lighting, and you're making sure you're getting into the camera at the right angles. All these things will enhance grabbing new people when they come to your channel. Another thing that you got to do is utilize the free tools that are available. YouTube has great metrics that you can go in there and learn from in terms of um, what's working on your channel from retention of your subscribers to how many people are subscribing to your best videos. And there are some other great tools out there such as TubeBuddy that'll help you understand those metrics better. The other thing you've got to do is just learn. Learn from people like me, learn from other YouTubers that are out there trying to help you understand how to better make quality videos. Also work on storytelling. And when you combine all these things and you can apply all these different things to your channel, you will start to notice that your channel will pick up. And the most important thing throughout all this, even when you're doing all that right, you have to be persistent. You have to stick with it. I've been in YouTube since 2015. I still haven't crossed the 100,000 threshold yet. And it could be because of a lot of different things, but I've taken a lot of growth. You know, I, I think that growing your channel year to year, maybe 20,000 or more, is excellent. So I'm satisfied with what I've got, and I'm still growing. With YouTube, you're gonna have peaks and valleys where you grow and you don't grow, and you've kinda just gotta ride that wave and stay persistent. And if you can do all these things, if you can get through that valley, if you can see the end of what you're trying to get to, you will do fine on YouTube. It's a great experience, it liberates you, it gives you various options in life, and ultimately, it gives you a long-lasting life gain, and y'all know that's what we're about on this channel. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Remember, if you want to collab with me, you want to have a sit down, I don't care where you live at in the continental United States. I do do traveling. I'm all about that life. I'm going to be hitting up Atlanta. I'm going to be in LA around October doing interviews and going to VidCon out there for YouTubers. I'll be in Miami real soon. I got some YouTubers lined up for some great interviews. Hit me up. A brother is here for you. A brother wants to network with you because there is something we can all learn from everybody. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.